Hello students, and welcome to another video. I'm your teacher, Mr. Flynn, and today we're going to be talking about nucleosynthesis. Okay, I'm going to write down this vocabulary word here. Uh, nucleosynthesis is the process of making new elements within a star's core. Nucleosynthesis makes all of the elements our planet is made of other than the hydrogen and helium left over from the Big Bang. So an original, so the idea here is that in the very beginning, at the beginning of the Big Bang, tons of hydrogen and helium were created. And hydrogen, he, hydrogen and helium are our smallest elements, okay? And they collaborate and work together to form what we call stars. And the larger the star, the more elements it's able to fuse. So if you look at this example, okay, we have a red giant here. And what's happening is as you work your way into the core, the temperature and the pressure increases, and you're able to fuse heavier and heavier elements. Okay. On this outer surface, you're going to have hydrogen and helium fusing together, and then you can have uh, helium fused to make carbon. That carbon can be used to make oxygen and accelerate deeper. That oxygen could take another alpha particle, and you can fuse that again to make neon. Neon can fuse with another alpha particle and form neon. Okay, you'll notice that there's a set of two. It starts with um, carbon which has six protons to oxygen, which has eight protons from oxygen to neon, which has 10 protons, right? We're adding two protons because a helium atom has how many protons? Two. And its atomic mass increases by four. Okay. So as we work our way through, we can go all the way down in this example um, to form sulfur. Okay. And the biggest elements that stars can form is iron at the very center. Okay. Um, the heavier elements are actually formed during supernovas and when these stars collapse and break down. So when you think about it, the chair you're sitting on, the metal that it's made out of, was originally made at the center of a star. It's hard to imagine, but that's where your chair comes from. The only reason that matter exists is because in the center of that star, there was enough heat and pressure, and that plasma was able to form and fuse elements together in order to form that iron material, okay? And it, as well as the oxygen that we breathe, the oxygen was formed in a, sun, in a star somewhere, okay? And our sun is relatively small in comparison to the much larger planets and in, in not just within our galaxy, but beyond that <clears throat> in the universe that we've observed. The sun is pretty small. Most of our sun is just hydrogen and helium. And, we're fu and our sun also fuses these other elements but they come in a much smaller amounts. They are not large in quantity in our sun. They're very small. Okay, so the idea of nucleosynthesis is that the stars are responsible for creating a bulk of the matter that we have today. And there's other processes of decay um, that create other elements like cosmic rays can cause uh, beryllium or lithium to form, um, having decay occur. <clears throat> so a lot of our elements that we have, or we start out with these elements and they decay into other things. And that allows us to have the variety of elements that we have today. Okay. Thanks for watching. Until next time.